All right, so we're looking at this parallelogram. We're finding the area. We remember that area is base times height, but it depends what we define as our base and what we define as our height. If I choose, let's say, my 20 meters here to be the base. Then, 8 meters here is the height. It creates a right angle. So I get area equals base times height equals 20 times 8 equals 160 meters squared. However, we do have another option here. Although for option 2, I did forget to give you the 10 meters on this figure here. Completely my fault. Sorry for that. Um, but what we do see is that then we can define a new base and height. We can use the 10 as the base, which means 16 is the height. Thus, for option 2, we get area again is base times height. In this case, is 10 times 16, which is 160 meters squared. We get the same exact thing as we should, because again, we're solving for the same area. In either case, we're just looking for the area of this parallelogram. Let's look at some more examples. In these two, you're actually given the areas. I want you to use that information to solve for the value of x. So again, try this on your own first, and then resume the video when you're ready to check your solution. For this first one, we have a rectangle, and we know that the area for a rectangle is length times width. In this case, our length is x, our width is 17, and we're given our area. So we can plug these in. We get 476 equals x times 17. This means x equals 476 divided by 17, which, if we calculate that out, we get 28 centimeters. Now be careful, because we're looking at the side length. This is a one-dimensional measure. So we do not square the centimeters. We keep them as just centimeters. All right, for part b, we have a parallelogram, which means area equals base times height. Here, x is our base, 12 is our height. Notice our pretty right angle here. And we know our area, so we get 276 equals x times 12. x equals 276 divided by 12 which is going to be 23 yards. And that's it. So what you need to take away from these videos. First of all, the general idea of area. This is a 2D measure, a two-dimensional measure, which means we have square units. And then we found the area for a square, a rectangle, a triangle, and a parallelogram. If you have not already, these are the equations you want to put on your note card. A square is the side squared, rectangle is length times width, triangle is one half base times height, and parallelogram is base times height. If you need to, add little drawings as well, so you know what each of these letters stands for. Especially for your triangle and your parallelogram. It's important that you keep clear what's the base and what's the height.